Hello, welcome. This is a uh, zodiac all star signs uh, tarot reading for weekend. <laughs> so let's go into it. Let's see what we get. Um, hope we're doing okay. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Um, and we're going to go straight into Taurus basically. So, um, Taurus, message for Taurus for the weekend if you've got Taurus anywhere in your chart. Starkeeper, cosmic ancestor, seed the light by staying grounded. Okay, so there may be some temptations, yeah, this weekend. <laughs> there may be some temptations because they're talking to you about staying grounded. It could be either triggers or temptations, but I'm feeling more certain temptations you could get drawn into this weekend. And it's like spirit is saying, look, you know, you are being grounded right now to not get triggered, not get tempted, to stay much in your power. You know, you've got spirit behind you, keeping you in your power. So you might be surprised that you're responding to something differently this weekend to how you normally would. You know, it's like you're acting from your wisdom, from your ancestral power. Um, let's see what else we're getting. The moon. Wow. You are working on a psychic level, Taurus. Um, there may be something, um, there may be something triggering you with the moon card. Also, there is still some kind of level of mystery, but I feel what Spirit is saying is that you do instinctively know the way this is going to go. So don't let your ego fears or whatever sway you um because you've got deep spiritual links here with with the moon card and the star keeper card you know um let's see what else is going on here for your person your person wants a new beginning that they really do um there's somebody here that wants a new beginning they want passion they want creativity um they could be starting a new job they could be starting a new relationship um, they're ready for something new that they're passionate about, okay? Um, so, you know, that is interesting. I mean, basically, you could get offered something very, very soon. You could definitely get offered something very soon. It's kind of just there, being handed to you. <laughs> Look at this card. I have a lot of sexual thoughts about you. Yeah, I mean, it, it feels like there is something here and it could well get offered to you this weekend. So don't get triggered. Yeah, stay very grounded the next couple of days because something's coming in for you. Um, I think you will. I think you'll stay very calm. I think you're receiving psychic messages so you know instinctively really what's going on. Um your spirit guides are helping you to stay in the home, you know, uh, to look within the heart, the home. The home is in here, isn't it? And um, yeah, that's what being grounded means, spiritually grounded. It means not getting distracted by the matrix and going out there and going crazy and wild, but staying very centred, very deep, because you instinctively know something's coming towards you here. You're going to get offered something. Looks like a relationship or... If it's not that, it's something very creative. So let's go into um, Virgo. Virgo. If you've got Virgo anywhere in your chart. I keep forgetting to say that. But I'm a very big believer in the aspects of the chart. Okay, you've got Star Keeper again. But I'm going to... That came out of Taurus. So let's give that another shuffle. So you're, you're being encouraged to stay grounded. You're going to find yourself surprisingly calm. Surprisingly calm and dealing with something in a very uh, wise way. <laughs> so you might be surprised with yourself. <laughs> um, water your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness and rest. So you are, you are being guided by spirit this weekend to really look after yourself. You're... You know, you're absolutely doing the right thing to look after yourself, prioritise your energy um, and 
basically keep yourself calm and peaceful. Um, probably because it's aligning you to a more conscious spiritual energy and it's helping you manifest something. That's what I feel. Right, so you've got the judgment card. You know, this weekend marks the beginning of a new chapter for you, Virgo, but it's something that you are receiving. Um, and I want to tell you that it's a very happy new chapter that you are now beginning. Um, and I want to tell you that that is happening because of the hard work you've put in. Okay, so, you know, that's the reason. Um, now, spirit is also working behind the scenes in your favour because of your conscious approach, because you are connecting with your spirituality this weekend. So spirit is rewarding you and working in your favour behind the scenes. Interesting. OK, so there is somebody here that wants to offer you something. OK, it's something creative, something passionate. It could be a relationship for a lot of you, attraction, but it could also be a job or something like that to do with your purpose and opportunity being offered. Um, this person has got the two of wands and basically they, they're the ones that have got to make this decision. And once they make their decision, they've got to take action on it. <laughs> OK, so you're making the right judgment call here by staying grounded, staying calm, not getting reactive, not getting tempted, uh, and also just looking after yourself and your spiritual alignment. So you're doing all the right things um, and spirit is going to be working in your favour because of that. It looks like somebody is uh, really thinking about you, Virgo, and um, it looks like they will come towards you. I think they will take action. They are 100% thinking about this, this weekend. Um, they feel very ecstatic around you. <laughs> They've got the ecstasy card. You've got the ecstasy card. And the other card that I also saw was centering. Okay, so there is uh, something very deeply spiritual going on for Virgo this weekend. I just saw the justice card as well. So things are going to go in your favour massively with the Justice card and the Judgment card. Um, by staying centred, your energy is very attractive. It's very spiritual. It's very centred. You're using your wisdom. You're channeling spirit to work in your favour to manifest something for you. Somebody's going to make a decision to come forward to you, I feel. Um, they're the ones that have got to take action on it and they're thinking about it and... I think they'll do it. That's what I feel. Okay, so let's um, have a look at Capricorn. If you've got Capricorn anywhere in your chart, you may resonate. Let's see. What message do we get for Capricorn? My, my chair is not <laughs> in the right position. Okay, Capricorn. Okay, jump in. Ooh, <laughs> adventure. Say yes to change. So, things are changing for you vibrationally. And, you know, you just got to throw yourself into it. That's what they're saying. Um, there's, a, there's a chance here to jump into something, approach something differently, perhaps. Nine of Cups. Um, You've got all your resources available here with the Nine of Cups, okay? Now, this is about you having all... I want to say in a very good position, okay? You're in a very good position. Yeah? Um, your main work is done with a Nine. I was, just, I was just looking at my number chart. Your main work is done, okay? You're in a good position. So... Hold on to that position, you know, have confidence in the position that you've got. Um, there is a change opening up here. So, and it looks like a positive change. It looks like an exciting change. So hold your position and get ready. Because this change is coming. All you've got to do is just have confidence, you know. 
uh, there's somebody here that wants to reach out and express that they do care about you. Queen of Cups. Yeah, Queen of Cups is somebody that will tell you how they feel. And they're going to tell you that they care about you. Hmm. Um, stop pushing me. I need to make my own choices. I feel like that's the kind of energy that you've been dealing with. Um, and so it's like you've had to work on yourself, get yourself in a better energy. Um, and now you are in a better energy. You, you, uh, the Nine of Cups is telling me that. <laughs> Capricorn, you're in a good energy right now. You're in a good position. Be confident. Um, there's somebody here that does like you. Really, it, it's like one of those things where it has to be done on someone's terms in their own time. So uh, that's probably what you've been dealing with. But they're ready now. That's what I'm getting shown here in these cards. They're ready. Crossroads. Um, yeah, there's a crossroads here. It could go a multitude of ways. <laughs> a multitude of ways, right? So crossroads and change. And the way it's going to go well is by you holding your energy, holding your power. Reminding yourself that you are in a good position. You've got everything available at your fingertips. <laughs> yeah, you're very, you're very attractive at this time. And as long as you keep your energy in that type of energy, in that type of place, someone here who's been kind of messing you around or um, holding back, you know, I feel they've been in a bit of a negative place or or they've needed a bit of patience, whatever it is. And, uh, but now this is a time you're going to start connecting. Yeah. So be confident. That's, that's the main message really. Okay. So that was for Capricorn. Let's go into, um, Aquarius. Aquarius. Let's see what we get for you. If you've got Aquarius anywhere in your chart, this could be for you. Okay. <laughs> A new earth. It is happening. Keep holding the vision. So massive change is going on for Aquarius here. Massive. And all you've got to do is hold the vibration. Okay. Um, that is basically how we channel everything from the unmanifested world into this manifested realm is by holding the vibration and that's what they're telling you to do something you had been wanting is in the process of happening right now and so you don't have to worry too much about what you're doing sorry there's a knock at the door it wasn't even for me right so what was i saying um yeah it's it's about energy okay right um it's not so much about what you're doing <laughs> so don't and don't allow the ego to make you analyze it what am i doing am i doing the right thing am i doing the wrong thing it's about staying in the right energy because it's whatever it is you were trying to manifest recently it's already happening it's already taking place Everything's going really well for Aquarius, basically. <laughs> so let's have a look. Page of Cups. Yeah, good news. Good news. You are at this exciting new beginning. Uh, you feel excited by it. Um, you could be meeting someone that you're going to do some exploring with. Um, you could be at the beginning of a new spiritual path or... Uh, something that just emotionally fulfills you basically which could be anything could be work could be a relationship could be a spiritual path an interest a hobby um but yeah you, you know you're you're exploring 
you're excited, it's new, it could be a bit daunting, but you feel passionate. You could almost feel quite obsessed about this, this thing, whatever it is, or this person. Um, now, there's somebody connecting to you that's got the death card. Okay, this person is going through a massive and very deep transformation, right? Now, um, this transformation is pivotal to this person's life because death card, you know, major arcana. Now, um, what am I picking up from this? Um, you will be stepping forward with this person but they have to complete this transformation and until that transformation is complete um you are probably looking at somebody that is unreliable okay now they've got this card i am changing to what you deserve so <laughs> I would say spirit is basically getting you to hold this vibration um, in a positive energy for this person, you know, and also for your own purpose and your own life and the things that are happening. There's massive shifts going on here for Aquarius, massive shifts that are exciting and positive, but could make you feel nervous. And spirit is saying that they are helping you on a vibrational level to um hold the vibration yeah so they're helping you to do that so if you feel a little bit nervous or a little bit crazy <laughs> right now spirit is trying to help stabilize your vibration so that these things can really happen in your life you know and um, they're bringing order they're bringing order to your life they are helping you to um get on this new more happy path that you will really love um and your spirit guides are supporting you with that process and um you know if your vibration is all over the place because you keep slipping into ego and worry and fear then your vibration is all over the place it makes it really hard for spirit to bring these things through um but i feel spirit is actually helping you to stabilize you know, um, and, and maybe bringing you opportunities or supportive people to help you do that. Because there's somebody here that's going for a big transformation and until it's complete, you're not going to see from that person what you want, you know. Um, so that's the message Aquarius, hang in there. Big changes going on for you that will be worth it and they will be very positive. Okay, um, let's go into Gemini. Right. <laughs> Gemini, you have got two cards. You are not alone. Isolation, physical connection and community. Um, I just want to say this is for anyone with Gemini anywhere in your chart. Uh, yeah, so... Isolation, physical connection, community, you are not alone. You are not alone. There's a, a lot of spiritual energy around you. There could be loved ones in spirit, spirit guides coming close to you at this time. Um, there could even be somebody in a physical realm wanting to connect to you. Yeah. Um, you've also got earth pulsing, pulse of the mother, slow down time in nature and um, that's why we get encouraged to go into nature because nature tends to be very well not all the time unless there's a hurricane but you know slow you know that things ha usually happen slowly but they can obviously happen very fast as well um but anyway uh the point is with this right spirit is basically saying to gemini this weekend you know the slower you're doing things, the more conscious, you know? And the more conscious, um, the more connection to spirit you have. Because remember, we had the connection card. OK, 
connection, you know. So, because slow, you see, space is a portal for spirit consciousness. So the sl more we slow things down, the more connection to spirit, the more we open this portal up so that consciousness can bring through what is meant for you. So slowing down is absolutely the right thing to do. Let's see what else we get. Eight of Wands, you've got lots of things that are going to be happening for you, Gemini. Lots of things happening at once. You could receive a message. Um, things moving in your favour. And, and actually, things speeding up. So, if you notice that you've been slowing things down lately, you know, and taking a bit of time out, that you've already been opening that portal. And, that, and something's going to come through that portal from spirit very quickly. Um, let's see what's going on for your person. Chariot, my God. <laughs> You've got the chariot card here for your person. There's somebody coming in very quickly towards Gemini. Yeah. Um... I also want to say that there's somebody you're connected to that is in their mastery. They've got a much better balance over their energy. You know, it could be someone with a cancer star sign, but I don't really like giving star signs because it, it, a lot of the, the time it doesn't really match up, I find. But um, they could have cancer in their chart and you just don't know it. But the point is... There is somebody here that is in a much better mastery of their light and dark, you know. Uh, they've got a better balance. They're moving forward much more positively. Um, you could also be meeting somebody. There could definitely be some communication here, Gemini, because chariot to the eight of wands, it's like you're boom, you're going into each other. Okay, so somebody is thinking about you. Will you wait for me? Okay, somebody is thinking about you. Let's see what your spirit guides are supporting you with. Energy. Oh, all the chakras. Your Shakti energy. <laughs> your life force energy, basically. Opening up. So spirit is basically, has been slowing Gemini down in order to open up all your energy centers, you know? Um, like I said, it op slowing down opens up the portal, spirit comes through that portal, manifests, conscious, consciousness manifestation. So they're working, spirit is definitely working on your energy. And it is going to open up a portal for things to start happening very quick in your favour. And I feel it's connected to somebody who either comes in quickly towards you, somebody who's been thinking about you, somebody who's got a good balance. It could even involve moving or travelling or going abroad. Okay? And you could be going somewhere with this person. <laughs> I don't know. There's a multitude of messages here, but it's very interesting. Okay, lovely, Gemini. Let's go into Libra then. Let's see what we get for Libra. Oh, Star Family, you are part of. You're part of a team of souls, right? Call in support. <laughs> Star family. It's a beautiful card. Look at that. So this is for anyone with Libra. If you've got Libra anywhere in your chart, this could be a message for you. Um, you're part of a team of souls. Call in support. I think you're doing something with your energy here, Libra. I think you're doing something very magical with your energy. And you're going to notice yourself feeling very good feeling a lot better 
Why? Because you're connecting into soul family and I don't think you even need to have I don't think you have to call them at all. I think I think spirit works with us when we're just opening up to them. We don't have to ask. It's just an energetic thing that starts to happen. Um you've got the knight of cups here. It's in reversed. You could be pulling back from a connection, okay? Um you could be saying, do you know what, I need to think about this. I'm not just going to offer myself here. Um, I'm pulling back. Um, it feels like you're going into your own emotions to look at your emotions. If it's not to do with pulling back, it's to do with you honouring your emotions and uh, your spirituality. So you're definitely, Libra is definitely going to be doing something over the weekends um to do with this inner connection to spirit and your emotional connection um which is then you probably don't realize how powerful that is but that is actually drawing a multitude of spiritual energies towards you to help you you've got somebody here that is actually willing to put in the work now they've been thinking 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 like crazy about you and this person is absolutely wanting to put in the work with you. You know, th th this is like 100. <laughs> but you, I feel like you are really going into your energy thinking, is this what I want? Is this really for me? You know, I mean, it could be work related or life purpose related. But I think for a lot of you, it could be relationship. And you're just like, hmm. This person says, I'm going to get help. I know I need to. Um, and ironically, I think you're the one getting help. Because <laughs> I think this weekend, you're going deeper into yourself, deeper into your spirituality. And then, and, and you're unlocking, you're tapping into a lot of spiritual support here this weekend. But actually, your person... They know they need to change. And this person is willing to do what it takes, okay? Um, okay, let's have a look at what your spirit guides are. Um, I think maybe you're not sure <laughs> about them and whether they really are going to do what it takes, but I'm, I'm being shown that they will. Yeah, you're converting a vibration here. That's what you're doing. You're converting something from illness to wellness. Um, your spirit guides are supporting you now to change the vibration of a relationship or change the vibration of a situation in your life that's been toxic and turn it round into wellness, you know, into wholeness, into a beautiful vibration. So Libra, you're doing something very magical this weekend. Um, what I'm basically saying to you is, I think a situation that you have not been happy with is going to turn around, if you want it in a nutshell. Because <laughs> I know sometimes the way I talk is probably a bit off the wall, um, but it's just the way I am. So, okay, Leo, let's go into Leo. Leo. Oh, this is nice because it's not a card that I've um, pulled out before. The Seas of Mintaker. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. That's beautiful, isn't it? So you're seeing something, you're having a vision, you're seeing something, you're... Yeah. You've got the page of wands. You're at the beginning of a very exciting journey here, Leo. Uh, it's like an adventure. Um, you could be very attracted to somebody. Or you could be very attracted to a path that you're now exploring. 
you are becoming more and more conscious your spirituality is any of your spiritual skills are going to be blooming blossoming increasing powers increasing um you've got somebody here who wants to help you right uh three of wands this is somebody that wants to help you um, this is somebody that, like yourself, knows their alignment and they're very excited about this. They're very excited about the path. Um, they want to work with you on something big. You'd be a team. And you're, you're really well matched. Uh, my ego is loud, but I'm listening to my soul. I am stri striving for spiritual enlightenment. So you're dealing with somebody here that has got a big ego. They could be quite an exciting person. But at the same time, they do want depth as well. Um, there's something about unconsciousness coming to light. It's the word enlightenment. Um, it's like you're on a journey with somebody. Um, mothering. Yeah. So... You, there's a card mothering and seeing potential which is kind of a mothering thing as well isn't it seeing potential in others um bringing unconsciousness to light you're basically having a very healing effect on people around you without even really trying but it's because your alignment is so good leo it's because you're excited about your own path um, there is somebody here that wants to help you they want to work on something very big with you and, and, and you'd be together as a team it could be a relationship, it could be a working thing, it could be something where you've both got common goals, a, a higher purpose, um, but you are also healing those around you, okay? So it's a brilliant, brilliant time for Leo. Okay, let's have a look at um, Aries then. Aries. Messenger, serious energy, <laughs> bringing harmony and balance, harmony and balance, a messenger. Hmm. A message is due to come in or be sent, um, but it needs to be done in a harmonious and balanced way. Um, spirit is supporting you with this or supporting someone with this. Okay. Eight of Cups. Um, okay, so this is you moving on <laughs> from disappointment, okay? Because there's been some sort of disappointment here. And it's with a heavy heart, really, that you're moving forward. But Spirit is saying in the next two weeks, you're going to feel a lot, lot better. Um, you're not looking on the past. You, you do want to look forward now. Um, obviously, there's something here to do with more harmony and balance. So you've got the high priestess somebody very private but they're finding it quite difficult to be private because it came out in the challenge position so i feel there's definitely because this is the moon as well at the top of that eight of cups um you know i feel there's a um there's a link here that's very spiritual between you and somebody else and um there is a message that needs to be given and received um but because of the spiritual nature of your bond it has to happen in such a way you know that just brings harmony and peace you are disappointed about something but yes the next two weeks will get better um and i think you'll even feel better over the weekends and like i said somebody's struggling to say what they need to say you know because there's this message here that needs to come through that's what spirit is honoring um but this person's holding back they've got the private high priestess energy and they're sort of also blocking their energy energetically blocking what needs to happen 
um, and then they do have this card I'm ready for a fresh start with you so get ready for that because it feels like there's some sort of change coming and maybe it's because they can sense you turning your back Your spirit guides are talking about love. Yeah, I think somebody's been blocking love, holding back, and um, just get ready because this weekend it's going to make them wobble big time and they're going to have to do something about it. But it might come more slowly than you want because there is something spiritual between you and someone else. And it is it is a love aphrodite it is love so communication has to be loving and balanced you know okay so let's go into sagittarius then my lovely sagittarius sagittarius da -da -da. Okay, serious energy, bringing harmony and balance, messenger. That was for the last. Now, this is if you've got Sagittarius anywhere in your chart. We'll pick another card because, like I say, that was for the last one. Um, you've got stuff here to do with ancestors. Um, hidden secrets, lost wisdom look a little bit deeper. So, loved ones in spirit are trying to connect with you, trying to communicate with you because you had the messenger card which is um, bringing harmony and balance through messages so look a little bit deeper because someone in spirit is trying to communicate with you they do have hidden secrets um, or information for you that will be helpful um, It will be helpful for your relationships and it will also be helpful for how you interact with the world. Um, you are helping somebody, okay? You've got here the three of wands. Um, you do want to help somebody and also uh, you, you know you can be a good team with this person. You can definitely be a good team with this person and work on something big together, whether it's to do with life purpose or relationship of some kind uh, you want to offer your help and you know you'll be a good team this person is saying yes okay <laughs> yes it is big the sun um they are absolutely overjoyed to have you want to step forward with them um they are very excited. They could be quite immature at times. But they're extremely excited and joyful. Uh, so yeah, this weekend looks really good. Somebody is saying, are you going to listen to me? <laughs> okay, are you going to listen to me? Somebody gets frustrated um, emotionally, not very mature. So their frustration levels rise and they can kind of explode. But at the same time, they're totally with you on this journey. So spirit is trying to help you with the communication side of things with this person. Spirit is trying to help you how you communicate with this person because that that is not going anywhere that you and that person are a team and you've got the card love <laughs> now that came out for the last reading so i'll just quickly pick another one but yeah you've got aphrodite love and you've also got the energy centers being opened up the shakti energy so everything's flowing nicely here sagittarius really good message here for you uh, you know, you're a team with somebody, you want to help them, they are absolutely really happy. Um, but there, it could be the communication side of things could be testing at times. Okay, let's go into Scorpio. Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio. 
Loosen your grip, coping mechanisms, density, addiction, let go, oh, let God in. <laughs> All right, so I don't know who that's for, if, is that for you or someone else, but... Oh, let's face it, we all rely on coping mechanisms. I mean, that the only the only time you don't rely on coping mechanisms is when you're fully enlightened. And how many of us on Gaia are fully enlightened? Um, I suppose it's just the extent uh, to what... You know, and that fluctuates all the time. Sometimes we're relying more on our crutches and then other times we're not relying as much. So loosen your grip. Basically, relax. <laughs> Spirit is trying to help you. So they want you to relax. You don't need to rely on your coping mechanisms. All you've got to do is relax and rely on God because God is working in your favour. Justice card. <laughs> that is things moving in your favour very nicely now. You've been making conscious decisions and you have been making conscious choices. Somebody connected to you has got the devil card. This person goes into their ego big time. <laughs> this person could be really attracted to you, by the way. There could be serious attraction there. But uh, in whatever kind of relationship it is, this person goes into their ego. They can be very reactive. Okay. I'm at a crossroads and I'm choosing which path to take. So, um, right, so what you've got is somebody who's really attracted to you, your life is now moving forward in a better balance, um, this person really wants you, you know, I think you're just trying to focus on the balance in your life and moving forward, you do need to relax and let go of the control, Scorpio. Um, don't be don't be scared of the future because God's got taking care of it all. You've got somebody who's really thinking about you and whether they want to proceed with you or not, or somebody that maybe, you know, if it's some other area of your life, you know, somebody's going to be thinking this weekend about whether they want this opportunity with you. Selfhood. Um, self is God, self is spirit. So, you know, you don't really have to do anything. Um, spirit is helping you cultivate your trust. You know, they're trying to reassure you that karmic patterns have been broken in your life and it's time for a fresh start now. Um so you can sort of relax and know that things are going to start moving in your favour. Something's going to go well for you now. Um, and you don't have to really control things so much. Um, because your energy is better than it was. And things are going to manifest for you off the back of that in a more positive way now. So you're going to be manifesting more positive things. Um and uh, there's definitely somebody here thinking that it would be a great opportunity to team up with you, <laughs> if you want that choice of words. Um, I, I, they strongly would want it. So um, trust. Just basically trust. Okay. So that's the message, Scorpio. Let's go into Pisces. <clears throat> so this is, um, if you've got Pisces anywhere in your chart, Okay, you might resonate. Okay, <clears throat> excuse my throat. <clears> throat. All paths lead home. So this is about going within. Um, this is spirit pointing to you not to go out there for your fun and excitement, but to <clears throat> be at one with yourself. Okay. Um, you may be holding back from communicating with somebody. Ace of Swords in reversed. You're not sure whether to take action. You're not sure whether to communicate. Or maybe you don't want to. And um, you're looking within, which is always the best thing. They, The gurus always say do nothing. 
Why? Because spirit is the doer. <laughs> spirit is the doer. Oh, your person's facing a dilemma. Oh my God. <laughs> dilemma, dilemma. What do I do? What do I do? They know, like, I think they can feel you pull your energy back. And they have apologies to give. I'm sorry for what I said. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> They're probably quite scared to communicate with you. They're nervous. They're thinking, oh geez, what have I done? Feelings, emotions, yeah. That's, that's why you're going within Pisces, you know? You're just feeling on a deeper level into yourself into your truth um spirits helping you learn to connect with yourself better so you're not just giving yourself away <laughs> and uh you're taking your time which is very very spiritual um and um i think you're going to receive an apology i think your person's struggling with it this weekend but i think they will actually realize what they need to do okay cancer if you've got cancer anywhere in your chart, you may resonate. <clears throat> this message may be for you. Ooh, the blue flame. Spontaneous awakening, activation and integration time. So this weekend is very important for cancer um, to regroup, to integrate all your spiritual energies. You know, you've been working, like we've been working massively on ourselves, even the last few days, you know, and it's like, right, connection spiritual energies integrating after purging there's been a lot of purging going on and now we've released some of that old karmic energy we can integrate our energy better lift our vibration to a higher level now um we may be on our own and we may not be feeling very happy about it at times over the weekends um but, you know, it's what needs to happen because we're going through an activation. You know, this is a, an awakening for cancer to a higher level and it, it involves integration. So solitude is necessary for spirit to do this work on us. Somebody's going to be thinking about us a lot. <laughs> uh, they really like us. They're going to be thinking about us. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, basically they're saying, I don't have the energy for this right now. <laughs> they're stuck in the past. That's the problem you've got here. There is definitely somebody here who's stuck in the past. But, uh, Cancer, we are not stuck in the past. Uh, we are not stuck in the past. <laughs> cancer is very present. We are, we are opening the portal to, we're slowing everything down opening up the portal to spirit, spirit is channeling through, activating cancer to a higher level. You know, that happens in the present. We're not stuck in the past. Um, they are talking about play, okay? Um, spirit wants to be known to us. So you're probably gonna get a lot of spiritual messages this weekend. Um, What can I say? Your person has got such fond feelings for you and thinks about you a lot. Um, you receiving this activation is actually just going to make your energy even more amazing. So, you know, this person needs to come into the present tense. Um, and they may well do that because uh, they're going to sense your energy changing. Did I show you the card? You know, spirit is working with you big time and you're working with spirit big time because cancer has made um, their pledge to spirit. And when you do that, you know, sp you, spirit does work with you deeper. So those in the 3D reality that are stuck in the past or creating barriers and blocks better get ready because they're going to see a whole different cancer coming through very soon um okay so this consciousness card 
for this weekend is you are free. Okay, you are free. You are not a product of your past. You are not to worry about the future. You are free in the here and now, you know, and um, you are free of the ego as well. But the ego is the past, the ego is the future. The ego is trying to keep us tied to attachment, but you are free. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's the message really. The freer you are, the more in touch with spirit you are. And the more in touch with spirit you are, the more freer you are. You know, you're open to miracles. You're not tied to the ego, which always wants certainty and it always wants to repeat old patterns. You know, that's not who you are. That's ego. Consciousness is free. Consciousness is open. So that is the message. Unlimited potential. <laughs> Peace. If you want to book in for a reading, just contact me. And thanks for subscribing. Thanks for giving the video a thumbs up.